Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I've been collecting toys now for 40 years. I have a huge collection. You might as well call me a toyaholic. Goodness, I love collecting all kinds of toys. Boy toys, girl toys, little kid toys, vintage toys, modern toys, any kind of toy. I want to one day move my huge toy collection into a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum. I want to make it a tourist attraction for our state. I hope one day people will come long and far just to see that massive toy collection down here in Mississippi. So until I can get my building, what I want to do is start valuing and inventory everything in this collection. It's going to take me a pretty long time, but I'm going to do it piece by piece and see what the value is. I'm hoping that after I value everything, I hope I could say it's worth a million dollars. I think that's every collector's dream is to say I have a million dollar toy collection. So it's going to take me a long time to see what it's exactly worth, but I'm ready for the challenge. So what we're going to value today is another shelf of our pageant dolls. I know we've done several videos already on these pageant dolls. Um, they're from a company called Nini Momo. It was founded in 1996, and they do dolls that actually compete in pageants and compete for prizes. They're pretty valuable, so let's see what mine are worth. Now, this is the first shelf we're going to do today. We're only going to do one shelf, actually. But when these were brand new, they went anywhere from about four to $600 back in the 90s and early 2000s. And now here in 2022, they start at like $1,500 each. They're crazy expensive, but they are artist dolls. I usually buy mine on the secondary market. So let's start valuing these dolls. First, we have Miss Malta from 2005. She was actually a semi-finalist in their pageant, finishing in 16th place, and I value her at about $175. Next, we have a Miss USA 2003. Um, I think this doll was kind of patterned after Shandy Fennessy, a former real-life Miss USA, but her gown was different colors, but it's kind of the same gown. So I value her at about $200. Next, we have Miss Fiji, 2005. She's all in white, but she's pretty beaded. Um, I don't know why I like this doll so much. I think because she is so simple and she's all in white. I don't have too many in white, and she has a beautiful face. So I value her at about $200. Next, we have one of my favorites from the earlier years, Miss Tonga, 2006. Look at this beadwork on her dress. It's amazing. The color scheme, everything is just perfect. So I'm going to value her at about $250. I started to say three, but I'm going to value her at $250. Next, we have Miss Germany, 2006. And she was actually third runner-up in her doll pageant. Doll of the world pageant is what they call it when the countries compete. And I value her at about $150 because she's not quite as beaded as some of the other dolls. Next, we have Miss, Miss Sri Lanka, 2006. She was actually a semi-finalist in that doll of the world pageant. And you see how detailed her dress is, how beaded she is. So I would value her at about $250. Next, we have Miss Nicaragua, 2004. And actually, she made the top five in her Doll of the World pageant. She was the fourth runner-up. So she's pretty exotic, and she did place high. I would value her at at least $200. Next, we have Miss Palau, 2006. She finished in the top 10 in her doll pageant. She came in eighth place, and she's very beaded along every flower. She has beading along the outline, so I do value her also at $200. 
Next, we have a really exotic doll. We have Miss Lesotho, 2006. And she was in the top 15 in her Doll of the World pageant. She's very unique and very beaded and very detailed. So I would definitely value her at least $200. Next, we have Miss Kragistan, 2006, a very beaded dress, a very pretty doll. So I'm definitely going to value her also at $200. Next, we have a very unique doll, Miss Pennsylvania, 2005. She placed second runner-up in the Doll of the USA pageant her year. I'm definitely going to value her about $250 just because she's so unique. Next, we have Miss Adagia, 2006. She was actually awarded the Couture Award in her doll pageant. She didn't make the semifinalist, but she received a special award. And because she is beaded and very unique and pretty, I value her at $250. Next, we have Miss Argentina, 2005. She plays six in the Doll of the World pageant. She made the top 10. She almost made the top five. It's a very beautiful doll. We're gonna value her at $200. Then our last doll on this first row is Miss Antigua and Barbuda, 2006. And she's super beaded. She's like 3D beaded. So um, we're gonna value her at $200 as well. Next, we have the second row of dolls. I moved the dolls on the front row out of the way so you could see them. First, we have Miss Wisconsin from 2006. And she's beaded at the top of her dress. So I'm gonna kind of probably put her at about $150. Next, we have Miss Ivory Coast, 2006. Very unique, made with beads and chain and sequins. We're gonna value her at about $150 as well. Next, we have Miss Jordan, 2006, in the navy blue. She's just beaded along the edges of her dress and some beading at the bodice of her dress, so we're going to value her at about $150. Next, we have Miss Bally, 2008. She's very unique, has a different type of little plastic stone they used. I'm going to value her at about $150. Next, we have Miss Vanuato, 2007. I hope I pronounced that right. She's fully beaded. Um, she's more of the darker colors. A lot of collectors do like these dark skin dolls. So I'm going to value her at $150. Next, we have a doll they only did for like half a season. They did a Silkstone pageant. I don't know if they ever even had the pageant, but we have Miss Silkstone, Alabama. Her colors are pretty good. A lot of beading at the bottom. So we're going to value her at $200 since she is a Silkstone doll. Next, we have Miss Northern Ireland, 2007. And she finished in their Doll of the World pageant in 15th place. So she did make the semifinals. But she's wearing a short dress. It's not as much a dress as the other dolls. So I'm going to value her at $150. Next, we have Miss Azerbaijan, 2006. And we're going to value her at about $150. And then next on our list, we have Miss Virginia, 2006. In her aqua blue dress, we're going to value her probably about $150 as well. Now this next doll is pretty exquisite. This is Miss Tibet, 2006. You can see her skirt is amazingly beaded. I don't know why she didn't place in her doll pageant. But because of this bead work on the doll, she's going to be one of our higher priced ones in the early 2000s. We're going to give her a value of $300. Next, we have Miss Somalia, 2005. One of our dark skin dolls a lot of people collect. We're going to value her at about $200. She might be worth a little bit more than that since she's a, a more rare doll. But we're going to value her at $200 in our collection. Next, we have Miss Catalina, 2006. We're going to value her at $200 as well. Funny story about her, we liked her dress so much, one time, one time we had it copied and made from one of our pageant clients. All right, this next doll we have is Miss Honduras, 2006, 
and she made the top 10 in her doll pageant. She came in seventh place. I don't know if her fur is real mink or not. Sometimes they do use mink, but we're going to value her at about $200. I think she's worth a little bit more, but we're going to say $200. Next, we have Miss Libya, 2007. She's got a nice sequin and beadwork to her dress, but we're going to value her at about $150. And then last but not least, we have Miss Montana, 2007. We have, we've had a couple Miss Montanas in our collection. We're gonna value her at about $150 as well. Now, previously we've made 26 of these value in my toy videos so far. The value of our previous videos has reached $43,082. And now we can add 5,525 more dollars to our total from these pageant dolls. So this is now our 27th video and our grand total so far is $48,607. We'll have to see if we're able to come to that million dollar point eventually or not. Well, I hope you're enjoying this journey with us of valuing my toy collection. If you are, just hit subscribe and keep following along with us. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.